Imagine a world where machines do everything, every job you can think of. Now imagine what the hell will happen to us. What will we do then? Moshe Vardy, a top computer scientist, says that within 30 years, machines will be capable of performing almost any human job. From flipping burgers to performing surgeries, AI will be doing it all. So what does that mean for humanity? Will we just chill out all day, living off some universal basic income while robots do all the work? Or will this tech explosion force us to rethink what it means to live a meaningful life? Will we value education and public service like in Star Trek, where reputation is the new currency? Or will we face a grim reality where only a few get richer, while the rest of us struggle to find purpose. Let's find out. All right, first, let's talk about what AI can do today. Spoiler alert, it's a lot. I'm not just talking about your annoying chatbot that can barely understand your questions. No, AI has grown up and is doing some pretty sophisticated stuff now. Take customer service, for example. AI-powered bots are handling millions of queries every day, saving companies a ton of money and, let's be real, often giving better service than a tired human could. And it's not just in service. In manufacturing, AI robots are working 24-7 without needing a break. They don't get tired, they don't ask for a raise, and they definitely don't need a lunch break. Let's break it up with an example here. Have you ever interacted with an AI customer service agent? How is that experience compared to a human agent? An AI is already driving cars. In my neighborhood, Google's self-driving cars are zipping around like it's no big deal. And those aren't just test runs. They're the future of transportation. Truck drivers and cabbies, brace yourselves. Automation is coming for your jobs next. And what about creative jobs? AI is composing music, writing articles, and even creating art. Sure, it's not all Van Gogh, but it's getting better every day. Day. AI doesn't have an off switch. It learns constantly, getting smarter and more capable. But what does all this mean for us? To understand where we're headed, we need to take a look at where we've been. Now let's jump into our time machine and look at the past. The Industrial Revolution. The good old days when steam engines and factories changed everything. Back then, machines started doing the jobs humans used to do, and it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Workers were displaced, living conditions sucked, and let's not forget the child labor. But eventually, new kinds of jobs emerged and society adapted. Fast forward to today. We're in the middle of another revolution, but this time it's digital. Automation and AI are doing to modern jobs what steam engines did to manual labor. Remember how people move from farm to factories. Now we're moving from factories to, well, we're not quite sure yet. There's this idea floating around that we'll just create new jobs once AI takes over the old ones. And sure, historically, that's been true. When machines took over farming, people moved to factory jobs. When factories started automating, people moved to service jobs. But here's where it gets tricky. AI is different. It's not just taking over manual labor. It's creeping into creative and intellectual fields too. Think about it. AI is already writing music, creating art, and even doing complex legal and medical analysis. So what's left for us. Some argue that we'll shift to jobs that require a human touch, things like therapy, caregiving, and creative roles. But let's be honest, not everyone can or wants to be a therapist or an artist. Plus, there's the issue of skill. The average person can't just switch from a factory job to a high-tech role overnight. There's a bell curve of intelligence and skills in any population. Not everyone is cut out to be a programmer or a data scientist. And it's not just about intelligence, it's about access to education and training. Let's look at Germany for a moment. They've done a pretty good job with their apprenticeship programs, blending public and private partnerships to create a skilled workforce. But even then, not everyone fits into that system. And here's another thing, people's preferences matter. Some folks are still using horse-drawn carts in Bulgaria, even though there are Teslas on the roads. The Amish in the US refuse certain modern conveniences. Human preferences are stubborn and diverse. So yes, humans will adapt, but it won't be a smooth ride. There will be bumps, bruises, and a lot of people left behind. The key is figuring out how to support those who can't make the leap, and that's a huge challenge. So let's dive into the big question. What happens when AI takes over all the jobs? We've got a couple of possible futures here, and trust me, they're like night and day. First, let's talk about the utopian dream. Some people think that if AI handles all the work, humans will finally get to live in paradise. No more nine to five, no more grind. We'll have all our needs taken care of by our robot overlords, leaving us free to pursue hobbies, education, and maybe even some public service. Sounds a bit like the Star Trek universe, right? In this perfect world, money becomes useless and your worth is measured by your contributions to society and your personal growth. But let's be real for a second. Knowing humanity, this rosy future might be a bit too optimistic. For every person who uses their free time for noble causes, there will be others who get really rich off from AI, while the rest of us might just sit around fighting out of sheer boredom. And boredom can be dangerous. Ever heard of the saying, idle hands are the devil's workshop? Now let's flip the coin to the dystopian scenario. AI takes over and the wealth gap gets even bigger. The rich get richer, sitting in their ivory towers, while the rest of us are left scrambling for scraps. 
Picture this. In America, where the concept of universal basic income is still a hotly debated topic, a lot of people could end up starving. It's harsh, but history has shown that when a small group hoards wealth, the majority suffers. This isn't some distant dystopia, it's a potential reality. So in a nutshell, our future without work could either be a utopian paradise or a dystopian nightmare, with a lot of gray areas in between. Now let's dive into the societal and economic impacts of a world dominated by AI. First off, income inequality is going to hit new highs. The richest people in America have seen their income soar over the past few decades, while everyone else's wages have stagnated or even declined. AI is only going to make this worse. People who own AI technologies are going to get even richer, while the rest of us struggle to keep up. Think about it. AI doesn't need health insurance, it doesn't need a pension, and it definitely doesn't go on strike. Companies are going to jump at the chance to replace human workers with AI, cutting costs and boosting profits. But what happens to the displaced workers? They end up taking lower paying jobs in the service sector or have no jobs at all. And let's talk about the social fabric. When millions of people are out of work, it's not just about money, it's about dignity and purpose. Work gives people a sense of identity and belonging. Without it, we're going to see a rise in depression, anxiety and social unrest. People need to feel like they're contributing to society, and without work, that sense of contribution disappears. But it gets even darker. As jobs disappear, so does the middle class. We're left with a society divided between the super rich and everyone else. And guess what happens when people feel hopeless and desperate? They start looking for someone to blame. Enter the rise of right-wing propaganda and demagogues who exploit these fears. They'll point fingers at immigrants, liberals, and anyone else they can scapegoat. While the real culprits, the ultra-rich, laugh all the way to the bank. All right, enough doom and gloom. Let's talk solutions. What can we do to avoid this bleak future? First up, policy changes. We need aggressive government policies to deal with the fallout of AI taking over jobs. This includes things like UBI, where everyone gets a basic income to cover their needs. It sounds radical, but it might be the only way to ensure that people can survive in a world where AI does all the work. And it's not just about survival, it's about giving people the freedom to pursue their passions and interests without the constant stress of making ends meet. Next, we need to rethink our tax system. Right now, the richest people and corporations are hoarding wealth while everyone else struggles. We need to tax the productivity gains from AI and use that money to support the displaced workers. It's not socialism, it's common sense. If AI is going to replace jobs, the benefits should be shared with everyone, not just a select few. But it's not just about money, we need a cultural shift. We need to start valuing jobs that AI can't do, like those in the entertainment industry. Think about it. We value human performers because they bring something unique and irreplaceable to the table. So let's put more emphasis on jobs that require creativity, empathy, and human connection. Education is another big piece of the puzzle. We need to rethink our education system to prepare people for the jobs of the future. This means more focus on STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math, but also on creativity and critical thinking. We need to equip people with the skills they'll need to adapt to a rapidly changing world. Finally, we need to address the issue of corporate power. Right now, the richest companies and individuals have way too much influence over our government and policies. We need to break up monopolies, enforce antitrust laws, and ensure that the interests of the many are prioritized over the interests of the few. Now beyond the economic and social impacts, there's a question of purpose and meaning. What does it mean for humans if AI takes over all the jobs? Think about it. For centuries, work has been central to human identity. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, right? Work gives us a sense of purpose, a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Without it, what do we become? Just beings floating through life with no aim or direction? Some argue that a life of leisure sounds ideal. Imagine having all the time in the world to pursue hobbies, spend time with family, and explore your passions. But I question this rosy picture. Is a life of endless leisure really fulfilling, or do we need work or some form of productive activity to feel truly alive and content? Then there's the ethical side of things. Who gets to control this powerful AI? If only a few people or corporations hold the reins, we're in trouble. They could decide who benefits from AI and who doesn't, creating even more inequality and potentially leading to abuse of power. And what about the AI itself? If an AI can think and learn, does it deserve rights similar to humans? These are questions we're only beginning to grapple with, but they'll become more pressing as AI technology 
technology progresses. What do you think? Should AI be given rights similar to humans if it becomes capable of thinking and learning? And where does this leave us? The future with AI is a double-edged sword. It has the potential to revolutionize our lives, making things easier, more efficient, and even more enjoyable. But it also comes with significant challenges and risks that we can't afford to ignore. We need to start thinking seriously about these issues now. How do we ensure that the benefits of AI are shared by everyone, not just a privileged few? How do we prepare for a future where work as we know it might disappear? And how do we maintain our humanity in a world increasingly dominated by machines? These are tough questions and there are no easy answers. But one thing is clear, we can't afford to sit back and wait for the future to happen to us. We need to be proactive, thoughtful, and determined to shape the future we want to see. If you enjoyed this video, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button. As a small creator on YouTube, it takes a lot of time and money to make videos like this, and your support means the world to me. It helps me keep making these videos for free. Share your thoughts in the comments. How do you think AI will affect us? And remember, the future is what we make it.